What's up guys, I'm Satya Diagnostic World, thanks for joining me in my office here. Um, I just wanted to make a short video today um, for Ferrari owners out there. Um, we do get a lot of questions from Ferrari owners, uh, people asking us what's the best tool for my Ferrari uh, diagnostic tool. I've got an airbag light I need to reset on my Ferrari, an ABS uh, system or lights I need to reset or diagnose to find out what the problem is. Uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the problem people are having is that they are faced with up to a 700 mile round trip uh, in order to just, just to go and drop the car off at the uh, the Ferrari dealer um, because previously it's been sort of quite difficult to get your hands on a diagnostic tool or the local garages who um, you know they are they probably are specialists but they won't have access to Ferrari diagnostics uh, whereas they might have you know access to diagnostic tools for all other cars, you know, like your general cars like Mercedes, BMW, Audis, VWs, Fords. Um, the Ferrari software has always been something which has eluded garages um, and individual owners for many years now. So um, we're happy to show, I'll show you this kit in a minute which will work on Ferraris. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something before I lost my train of thought there. But yeah, so I mean, it's a, it was a 700 mile round trip. Um, and just to sort of, just just to do that, just to drop your car off, it's uh, it's quite a pain in the arse. So, um, we, as I say, it's a, it's, a, it's a frequently asked question, a lot of people ask it. So we're going to show you this kit. This is the Autel MS905. It's MS905 Maxisys Mini, to give it its full name. Um, essentially, it is a tablet running an ice cream sandwich uh, software. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. I'll run through a little bit about the coverage in a moment. Uh, I've got the PDF sheet on my screen here. What I would advise you to do though is uh, if you want to see the full coverage list, I mean at the time of making this video we are actually at um, version 2 software. Version 1 was released a few months ago so as the uh, you know the software versions evolve the coverage and the, uh, the, well, the, the coverage and the, the system uh, function will actually improve. Um, it's good as it is at the minute um, but it's all for basic things. It's not going to do any programming or anything like that. Uh, but it will do lots of fault code reading for ABS, engines, airbags, uh, you name it. I'll get into that in a moment. So what I'll do is I'll just switch this on. You can see the screen here. So you can see that's come on there now. Just got a message come through on my system here. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, so... It takes about 25-30 seconds for this to uh, the software to load up and there we go, we're ready to go. Unlock the screen, now this is your main screen, these are your main menus. I'll click something now which I shouldn't have. Um, update here, this is what you're going to click on when you first get the kit to register the kit and actually get all of your, uh, your Ferrari software loaded onto the device. Um, it does come pre-installed with a lot of vehicles, but it doesn't come pre-installed with a Ferrari. You won't have to pay anything extra once you've paid for the unit, you've paid for the software <coughs> the software as well. Uh, so this is the this is these screens here where you see the icons. And well, you probably can't see them as well as I can. We've got everything we need here. Um, I'm just gonna click into what shall I click into? I click into Lamborghini. It does cover Lamborghini as well. Now this is called a VCI and what happens is you run a cable from the VCI into the diagnostic port of the vehicle and that's what causes a connection between this, the vehicle, this and the actual tablet. So you can walk around the workshop or walk around your garage um, or walk around in the, in the sort of the vicinity of the vehicle and you can be diagnosing the car without actually sitting in the, in the main seat. Uh, so we'll click on to manual selection. Just click on Huracan, for example, 2015 model. And this is what you'll be doing, but you'll be selecting obviously your Ferrari 458, 430, whatever you need to do. So diagnosis, control unit, and there you've got access to the different types of uh, control units and modules that you would generally diagnose. So straight away we've got engine, transmission, your brakes, uh, airbag, and there you go, you've, you've covered the four main systems, but there's a lot more systems as well. In fact, what I'm going to do is I've got my uh, PDF file here, so I'm just going to run through a few of them. 
and I'll run through, well I'll run through the vehicle coverage first of all. Um, we've got the 348, the 355, 360 Medina, uh, 430 that's including the challenge, 430 we've got the 456, uh, the 458 Italia that includes the challenge, uh, we've got the 550 Maranello, 575, 599 GTB, um, do, 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 California, Enzo, F12, Berlinetta, uh, F50, FF, Scaglietti, F612, uh, and Testarossa, but Testarossa only gives you very basic information. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really recommend this kit if you're buying it just for a test of Um But I mean, yeah. So the the systems we're looking at, you're looking at the engine, uh, the airbags, the brakes, the ABS brakes, the transmission, uh, gearbox, suspension, limited slip diff, headlights, uh, infotainment systems, the doors, instrument cluster, the lifter, tire pressures. Um, blah, 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 blah. What else have we got? Airbags, gearbox, parking sensors, clusters, climate controls. Yeah, so they're kind of all the same, same theme throughout the vehicle. But what I would advise you to do is go onto the website, have a look at the kit. In the list of coverage, it gives you a PDF file for each particular vehicle um, or each particular manufacturer. So make sure your, your vehicle is covered and check the PDF file because we hate for you to get a kit like this and not to cover your vehicle. However, it does cover a wide range of vehicles, um, so we think you'll be okay. But, like I say, version 2 at the minute won't do any coding or won't do any programming. Um, you have to wait for future versions coming out. Uh, but it's, it's fine to buy it now because you know that the programming features will eventually uh, become available. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the, um, the... The reason we made this video is, as I say, but in the hope that it'll catch people's attention um, because we do get a lot of Ferrari owners asking what tool is best for their car. Um, they don't want to have to be faced with a, a long trip to the garage now. There is a there is a competitor to this kit on the market. Uh, what's it called again? I forget what they call it. Leonardo, Leonardo, that's it. Um, yes, and, th and that does a lot of cars. It also does Lamborghini, which this does. Uh, your Bugattis, your Bentleys, um, I think it does Aston Martin as well, um, and also obviously Ferrari. However, the big difference between the two kits is the price. The Leonardo kit, if you if you want to get it with all of the options, you're looking at easy twenty thousand pounds. That is, um, this kit here. At the time of speaking, now prices are always subject to change. Uh, at the time of this, this is £1,500, so it's £1,500 um, and you'll still get the same access. In fact, you get more coverage because you're going to also get your daily drivers as well, your Ford, BMW, Mercedes, uh, you name it, you'll get all of that and that's included in the one-off price. So, um, sorry if it ha hasn't been the most exciting video, it wasn't designed to be an exciting video, it was pure, purely just to give you information about uh, which Ferrari diagnostic tool is going to be good use for you, for yourself, for your, uh, your ABS system, airbags, engine, transmission, you name it. This kit is a great kit. Um, so we highly recommend it. If you have any questions or you want to see some videos of this kit in action, actually working in a vehicle, more pictures, uh, and literature as well, visit the website. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link directly below this video. Uh, you can search Diagnostic World in the Google search engine. Um, how else can you get to it? I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so check it out and view all of the information. And you can also order online as well. Um, if you have any questions about this kit, feel free to get in touch. We'll answer any questions as quickly and as honestly as possible. Uh, we hate for you to buy an incorrect tool for your vehicle, so uh, that's why we'd rather give you the right information. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.